Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. So this spray paint art video is going to be a little different from the rest of them. I'm going to be trying out Montana Black spray paint and seeing how it works and what it's like when doing spray paint art. So the Montana Black spray paint is Montana's middle price spray paint in their range. It is a matte finish, comes in a 400ml can and has a high pressure valve system and comes with a stock orange dot fat cap. There are over 185 colours in the range. Its lacquer base is Nitro Combi and in the UK the Montana Black costs around £4.15 a can. So for this spray paint art video I'm just going to be using the stock cap that comes with the can. I'm going to be using white, purple which is called galaxy, pink which is called pink panther and black and I'll be spraying on a 45 centimeter by 32 centimeter gloss card which is 350 JSM. I also have planned to do some more videos where I test and try different makes of paint so just keep an eye out on my channel for new videos. So I hope you all enjoy and find this video helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button it'd be very much appreciated. Right then guys the first thing you want to do when you get these paint is give them a good shake for about 2 minutes each can. And once you've shook the cans up take the cap off and pull the donut out from underneath. That's only there to stop the cap pressing down when in transient, spraying the paint everywhere. So I'll sit that to one side for now. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to spray a line down this piece of paper here to show you how wide the paint comes out of the cap when spraying it. So I'm just going to spray this onto a spare piece of paper first and get some paint through. And then I'm going to try the cap on here. So that's the paint through now, so I'm just going to spray a line down here. And pull that to one side. As you can see on there, this cap does a real big wide line. So we'll give it a go and we'll see how it turns out. So the first thing we're going to do is grab your colour and then just spray around your lid stencils. Got one there. And then one there. These caps seem to release a lot of paint, so I'm just going to be spraying lightly when I put the colours down on there. So, what we're going to do now is fill in the planets where the colours are going to go. So, a bit of purple first. I don't know how these are going to turn out, but we'll give it a go. I've never tried Montana Black, so... Here it goes. Just put a bit of purple there like so. And then a bit of black at the bottom. And then white on the rest. Like so. And then grab your plastic bag or paper or whatever you're going to use to do the texture on your planet with. Give it a bit of a screw up. Like that so you get some lines in it so you can make your texture. And we'll just place it on. And then we'll just rub it a bit. So you pull some of the paint off and pull your bag off like that. So there's your texture done. So now we're going to do some shadows and highlights. So grab your white first. I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. From being a white cap. So... Put your white in there like that and then we'll do some black here like so so we'll leave that one for now to dry and we'll move on to this small one so what you do just get your colors again spray them do you see how much your cap knocks the paint out it's filled that right up so thing eight just put a bit of white black in it, crunch your plastic bag up, just 
do it like that. So we'll leave that one like that. Now we're going to put some highlights and shadows in on this one. It might be a bit odd because the amount of paint that comes out of caps. But we'll give it a go. Like so. And then grab a black. Like that. So now what you want to do is leave these to dry now completely so then you can put your stencils on the top without the paint drying onto the stencil and then when you lift it up it leaves rings on your painting where the stencils pull the paint off. So I'll leave these to dry for now and I'll be back with you once they dry. Right then guys I'm back now so these are dry now to put your lid stencils on. So get your lid and put it where you want it to go. So I'll put that one there. And I'll put that one there. So, so what I do is grab some weights. And then we're just going to put some weights on it. This is just to stop any overspray going underneath the lid. And going onto your planet. So I'll just grab one there. Put that one there. I'll just get another weight. Put that like that. So then now we're going to grab the black and we're just going to spray all the background black. But don't do it too thick around the planet because these caps let a lot of paint out so it might soak underneath the cap, your stencils and go onto your planet. So that's a background done, that was pretty fast because these caps are letting lots of paint out. So what I'm going to do now is just put a bit of colour into a background. I'm only going to lightly press these so then not much paint comes out. So it gets like a bit of a misty effect or something like that. So. So, and we'll do the same with the pink. Just add a bit of more purple into it. pressing the cap down and a lot of paint's coming out still so I think I'll just leave it like that so now we'll just add some stars in so spray a bit of white onto your fingers and then flick it onto the sheet Like so. So I'll just wipe this paint off my hands. And then we'll lift the lids off. So I'll just take the weights off first. Like so. And then that's that one there. And then that one. I'm just going to sign it here now. So I think the planet's turned out really well on this one, even though I was using a fat cap for it, I think they've come out pretty well. And also I like the background, the cut for purples and the pinks, they're quite vibrant colours. So I think the Montana Black spray paint would work great when doing spray paint art. The only thing I'd change on them is I'd change the cap to like something like a level 1 Montana cap. So what I'll do now is then I'll just grab a level 1 Montana cap and I'll put it on top of the can and I'll just spray a line and I'll show you the difference between the two caps. So I'll grab a cap, I'll move this over a bit there, I'll get another piece of paper there, just 
just take that cap off there for a minute put the level one on which is a grey dot like so if you can see it so I'll just put it on there spray it on the spare piece so you can see it and I'll just do a line down here like so and as you can see the difference in the lines just by putting a skinnier cap on you get a skinnier line so I think if I was going to use these all the time, I'd be definitely putting a skinnier cap on them. So I hope you found this spray paint art video helpful and enjoyed watching it. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'd be very much appreciated. And as always, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.